Hello, good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome. This is a really juicy morning, as always, just waiting. Oh, let's see. Okay, let's see. You can hear me. Okay, good morning. It's getting situated here. Good morning, Phoenix. Good morning, Carly. Just gonna wait for his folks to jump on. Making a note here. Okay, good. You can hear me. Awesome. So, this morning we are going to be engaging with um, the North. So, the energy, the grandmother of that holds the access point, the um, energetic portal when we start working with directions, right? So, um, peoples from all over the world intuited knew that when we call forth the directions, the north, the east, the south, the west, above, below, within, um, that certain energies, you're calling forth an archetypal energy, you're calling forth um, a wisdom and a power. And so for the solstice, we are invoking um, the north and in the Celtic uh, tradition, it's the Kaliak, the ancient one, the grandmother. Uh, most traditions have um, the north seat as the ancestors, the grandmothers. Um, in the traditions I've sat with, that there's uh, the grandmother of the four winds at each direction, and today is the Kaliak, the one that um, is really timeless. In fact, in the Celtic mythology, she predates the the Celtic more than any more than Bridget, more than um, the other um, the Dagda, all the different beings that you know um, offer their wisdom within the Celtic uh, pantheon. She predates all of that, and um, they scholars don't actually know how old she is because she just keeps going back and back and back. So she is truly the ancient one that holds the north and holds that place of uh, darkness and the place of wisdom. And within that, we have the solstice, which the solstice is that remembering. It's that uh, spark of the light that the light is returning. And so I have always sat in this place of the, the interesting of the paradox of the light is returning and yet the invitation is to go into the darkness into the cave to rest and now in our western world or our modern world whether you're in the west or the south um it's such a fast pace and we aren't in um, rhythm with the natural cycles and so you know we stay busy and then we have the holidays that creates so much external focus um, when really this was the time where the gatherings would lessen. You know, people would stay in their own communities, stay in their own um, also nuclear um, families and, and rest. You know, the harvest has happened. They have, um, the gathering has occurred and now it's time to conserve and to knit by the fire and to tell stories and to go to bed early, you know? Um, and so it's an interesting place where our bodies and our ancient memory, you know, hold that um, knowing that this is the time truly to, to stop, to pause, to reflect on the year, to be able to um, hold the wisdom and to mine the places that um, we integrated over the busy time of the year, the more external, the more um, 
bright time of the year, so to speak. And often we aren't able to see our progression or our healing or the things that we have um, embodied until we pause. Because when we're in it, we're going, 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 right? So it's hard to see the change that's occurred, the, um, whether it's the internal realignment with our soul and our energy system or something that has happened on the external. And so this, this time of pause is so important, not only for us to see, you know, what wants to be birthed in this next, you know, coming when the springtime comes, but also, um, where we've been, you know, to, and to celebrate um, the path that we have walked. So it's an interesting time to honor that still point, that pause, call forth the Kaliak, call forth the wisdom of the north and the dark night, and not to shy away from it. Um, you know, I was just at a, a workshop, and we were going around and people were talking about the winter and it was about calling in winter and, and being present with winter. And, you know, so much of the response of winter was cold, constriction, isolation, stagnancy. And I don't, it's, the winter is also, is more my alignment and just um, my archetype in general is I body, embody more the North and um, winter and I'm born in December as well. In my mind, like when it's invoking the North, it's magic creation, the dream time. You know, it's the dark night, which for me is like the yummy, juicy time to um, get to travel inward. And so it's just interesting to see, you know, our culture has been so dominated by the external, by the sun God, so to speak, by the doing You know, we are so defined by our worth, by what we create in the world, what we do in the world. And, um, and really the, the Kaliak, the grandmother of the North turns that on the head, on its head. It's more about, you know, how deep can you dream? You know, how still can you become within your own being? And that's truly the invitation. So with the solstice coming up, as it's also the time of honoring the winter, um, what is that spark of light that we are honoring the solstice, the return of the sun, you know, the return of that light within while being still? You know, what are those moments where we get to feel that spark of light deep within and let it germinate let it slowly start to build from within a lot of time like in spring and summer summer and even in fall there's a lot of doing right and so we have that spark but we immediately it's like spark and then external spark external so what is it to honor that the light is returning within and then just hold it hold it it's like when you get um transfixed by staring at a flame in the fire you know, you hold it, you nurture it, you sit with it, you let it start burning from the inside and it's slow and slow. So by the time that the energy is appropriate to have the external and the internal meet in a different way, that fire is sustain, has been sustained and then you'll have the energy. You won't have like, a, here's a spark and then it's put out into the world and then it becomes um, a dud, so to speak, you know, that it falls flat. So we're really also invoking this type of creation, this type of inner exploration that it, that lasts, that it becomes the, um, the way of being, not just the spark of inspiration that then goes. Right, so we're asking to align with the solstice, align with that archetype of the solstice while aligning with the archetype of the north and tending to the internal fires in a um, reverent way. And that is in a way that's more turned this way. So when it's in bulk and then we go into um, the spring, um, the equinox, 
it is time to like all this gathering of light within and knowledge and sitting in stillness in the cave, then we can go and offer it to our communities, offer the insight and not just in an external form, but we offer our being, we offer our presence, we offer our consciousness simply by living in the world and interacting with people, but that it is a gift. It's a gift of this presence that we have been cultivating, this consciousness that we've been cultivating. And that in and of itself shifts vibrations, shift frequencies, shifts um, communities. And so we don't always have to be like on the front lines and our um, activism, you know, the, the greatest way we can also uh, create change is by tending to the internal fires, tending to that place of change within and then holding that frequency. So wherever you go into, you're anchoring in that knowing within and that's going to ripple out. So we are going to invoke the Kaliak and the winds of the north as well as um, tend to and acknowledge the the solstice and bringing that into our bodies especially as we go forward into the holidays um, to see how we can keep the finger on the pulse of the inner world while tending to the holiday kind of craziness that goes on um, it is not an easy practice and one that you know it's a it's a good one to keep on um, keep on your awareness <laughs> And um, before we, I forgot in the beginning, um, there's, uh, we're going to have a break. So we have the holiday breaks because next Wednesday is Christmas. The week after that is um, the New Year's Day. And so by the time Wednesday, I think it's the 9th or the 8th, I'll post in the group. Um, it's going to be a really special uh, two plus hour um, letting go of last year, like really being able to look, we'll go back through every month of 2019, see what energy we're holding from those months and release it out of our energy field and out of the layers of our energy field, as well as go forward to 2020 and um, put an energetic uh, seed in each of those months to really create what we wanna create from the energetic and spiritual realms. And it's a really powerful practice. People had, um, have had amazing transformations and aha moments of realizing what they were still carrying from 2019 um, from different um, interactions of being able to really go in and, and fine tune what we're holding on to um, on the energetics. And so that will be um, from 9 to 11 to 11, 15 ish um, on the 9th on Wednesday. And it's not going to be on Facebook Live. Um, I'm going to be in the new year phasing out around the springtime of Facebook um, and going to go into a different platform just from Facebook's just getting more and more creepy. I will just say that. Like I get the weirdest, especially when I'm, when we're doing deep transformation, what happens. So um, but it'll be on Zoom and it'll be a webinar, which a webinar is just really like we're going to be gathering like we're gathering now. It's going to be a sacred circle. Um, it's going to be a really powerful time. And if you can't make that time period, you can go back and listen to it. And I know people who have listened to from um, years past in the middle of the year because they can feel that in their projects and their relationships, something isn't quite have, has let go. And so they'll listen back to it and it helps to pop them through to be able to embody what they are creating. Um, it's a really beautiful time. So if you want to join that, the link will be um, in the group and I'll announce that. And I think that's it. I hope everyone has beautiful holidays and restorative ones. And so however you're finding yourself, wherever you're finding yourself, that um, you're able to take some time to sit in the dark night and to really let that be a nourishing uh, time for you and a time to um, remember and to celebrate where you have, you know, what you have been walking with this past year. And, you know, thinking back to the last winter solstice, what, you know, think about all the growth that's happened, all the hardships, all of the celebrations, and really letting yourself hold all of that and, um, and witness yourself. It's really an important um, part. 
I think that's it. If there's any questions. Good morning, everyone. Just seeing all the good mornings. Okay, loves. So as always, we're gonna to come to a comfortable seated position. The breath work we're going to do today is um, it's the O-shaped breath we've done um, before. It's slow inhale through the O-shaped mouth, feeling the energy rise up that central pillar, rise up that central spine, and then very slow exhale through the nose. Inhale through the mouth. You're gonna go as slow as possible. You'll go at your own pace and then we'll exhale slow through the nose. And we'll do that just for a couple minutes and then um, open up the gates. <clears throat> so coming to a comfortable seated position. Mm, letting the eyes close, turning the focus inward. Allowing your awareness to rest on the inhalations and the exhalations just as they are right now. Summoning yourself to yourself from dream space from this morning or this afternoon for those over in Europe. Summon yourself to be present at this time, giving yourself the gift of allowing yourself to fully arrive. Gathering yourself from the last few days and gathering yourself from thoughts of tomorrow, later today, this weekend. Feeling your sit bones on the chair, on the earth. Your body is supported by Pachamama. And then beginning the breath, inhaling through O-shaped mouth. Feeling the energy rise up that central pillar in the middle of the spine, the shashumna. Exhale slowly through the nose.
And the mind wanders, just bring it back to that awareness of the inhalations and the exhalations. Truly summoning yourself to yourself. a few more rounds, seeing how focused, how present you can be. And returning your normal breath pattern, keeping the awareness inward. Feeling your body again, supported by Pachamama. Your roots extending from the base of the spine that goes all the way into the center of the earth. Your spine nice and tall, strong. Bring the awareness to the top of the head, the crown center, allowing the petals to unfurl. Feeling that energy coming in from the top of the head from the divine. Lighting up the brain. Going all the way down your central core. Divine light and the essence of your soul going to all of the cells, muscles. Organs. And dropping that awareness, the sitting in the stillness of your being. Calling forth, summoning for the sacred wind, the gatekeeper of the north, Kaliak, the ancestors, winged one. To the one who holds the point of dark nights. Whew. 
Sensing a gateway before you. This gateway leads to the powers of the north, those of winter, slumber, cold. Long corridors within opportunity to find our inner fire, inner light, our inner heat. Before you stands the gateway to the wisdom of the north. Out of this doorway and corridor, the grandmother, the ancient one, takes form. Known by many names throughout time, throughout culture, and yet is also nameless. The crone, the wise one, the wild creature that lives in the cave on high mountains. stands before you. What does her energy bring to you at this time? This portal, this gateway as winter arrives. She looks at you, her ice blue eyes from the depths of time. holding the staff and a gift. Feel her presence in your field. What is the wisdom guidance offered? What is the energy flowing through this portal, this gateway? How does it show up for you? What does it feel like? Is there an invitation to travel deeper into the corridor with the Kaliak? 
or to stand and receive from where you're at the blessings of this direction. There's a whispering from the wise one to you how to approach this turning of the wheel. How to harvest the medicine of this time to where it sinks deep into the bone and the marrow of your being. Listen. It may come in this moment, it may come in the dark of night, where all is sleeping except for you in the dance of the north, and the wise one comes and dreams in quiet moments. Listen. Mm, she steps back to the corridor. Feeling the cold winds blow. Hmm. Smiles her wild, untamed smile. And she will be back if you care to listen. Between you and the corridor, a flame appears, a small ember. And it starts to glow. The goddess of the winter solstice appears. Keeper of the inner flame. How does the keeper of the inner flame, the one who holds the solstice in her heart, How does she feel different than the Kaliak and the winds of the north? Just notice what you notice. Allies on the path 
yet distinct and unique into themselves. Keeper of the flame approaches. With her comes the angels. With their voices and their song of remembering of the light always burning within. They come and offering you the light that returns. The portal of the winter solstice. With roots through the beginning of time. The ancient ones remembered. Tuning in to the well ones, the ancestors who remembered and celebrated this turning of the wheel this time. We gather around the sacred fires, lighting to remember the warmth and cold nights. Holding the flame out in front of her, she approaches. Where does that flame land in your body, in your field? Where is the gift of the light return? Where does that medicine want to show up in yourself, in your life? Where will the heat from that flame be most useful in this winter season? In your mind to help illuminate and ward off dark thoughts or in your heart to warm the bitterness that can happen in the darkness or in your belly. Where does that inner flame, the gift of the solstice, the gift of the angels, where does that land and form in heart and body and soul? How does the gift of the solstice, goddess, the solstice queen, the gift from the Kaliak and the gift from the solstice go hand in hand? The awareness, the guidance. How do these dance within your being? It's nothing to figure out. We just get to receive and open. Giving gratitudes 
with the beings, the angels, and the solstice queen as they step back. The ancient one, the Kaliak, keeper of the north, winter, and the solstice guardians standing side by side, witnessing you in the turning of your year, the turning of your inner season, your cycle. So feeling into your own sovereign space as they step back, feeling your field all around you. Where is your center? Resting in that still point in your inner cave with the fire lit. Allowing the stillness to permeate. What will you do? Who will you be as you let yourself surrender to the turning of the wheel, to the inner turning of the wheel, no matter what's going on in the external world around you? Breathing into the body, Perhaps sign on the exhale. <sighs> Inhale. And exhale. As you slowly begin to open the eyes, seeing how much you can keep the consciousness, the awareness on the inner plane as well. For that really is the dance of the time that we're in of keeping that still point, that um, awareness within the inner cave, so to speak, as well as tending to the fires of our homes and our lives. So just going slowly, um, I recommend writing down uh, journeys are like dreams. You think you might remember the gifts and then by the middle of the day, they're gone. So feeling into the presence, the stillness, there's not much really to say with them because they are the silence. They are that um, still point. Um, if anyone wants to share anything in the chat, grace, beautiful. Yes, it's the grace of um, stopping, right? And, you know, the ancient ones, our ancestors knew the value, not just the value, but the necessity to stop, to pause, take this time um, at the turning of the year so you can be fully present and arrive um, for the rest of the year as well as the seasons will keep turning. So the, the Kaliak, the ancient one from the north, um, the message was to revisit. She had a lot, it was more of a beckoning to, to really come, go into 
Um, you can position yourself to the north, um, whether it's using the compass true north and face the north, open the doorways and have those conversations with the ancient one. She is an incredible ally and fierce and wise beyond um, comprehension really. So to really uh, make an alliance with her is, is a really powerful um, being to align with, especially this time of the year. So yeah, the invitation, this was more, which was surprising for me. Um, there were some other things I thought we were going to do, but the invitation was to really just sit and feel the gateways, feel the energy of the portal of the North. Um, you know, when you work with the directions on the energetic planes, as soon as you shift from the North, you know, to the East, so to speak, it's, you can feel there's just such different um, vibrations and energies. So really inviting in the medicine of the North. Um, and, you know, the solstice coming up, especially on Saturday, um, even if it's sitting in that deep cave within and lighting a candle for five minutes to reflect on that lighting, uh, the candle, the light within and where, you know, where was the queen of the solstice offering that reflection where um, would be the best use of the medicine of this time. It's all going to be different for a lot of us. Um, sometimes we do need that light of remembering more in the mental field versus the emotional. So we get to um, just truly welcome in what is right for us. And um, yeah. So love you all. Have an amazing couple weeks holiday. And again, um, there'll be a powerful uh, two hour letting go of 2019 on the energetic level and going back through each month and working the space and energy within your system and then as well as um, not just calling in like Ooh, manifest working out in 2020 or something like that it's really we're just going to align with the high destiny of the energy of 2020 that's for you and your soul path and so it's going to be super juicy and i will share the link um, in the group um, as well as send out um, in an email because um, you will need to sign up for it because again it's not going to be on Facebook Live um, it's going to be um, on a different it's going to be in Zoom so we'll create the temple space there have a wonderful holiday and respite and deep reflection and you know I hope you find nourishment and um, this season all right I'll see you on the ninth.